Thomas! Ruhe! Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. All right there? Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be, then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here, if you like. Thank you. Your soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed, I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. Wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master. And I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, 
You have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. Look at them little balls of soot. Good lady, forgive me. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. For they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here. Including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. Eivor, I am still with you, drifting at the edge of your memory. You have tamed the Odin within you, but I have not disappeared. I am with you always, embedded within your Huga. Will you keep me in the dark until your end, resisting forever this side of yourself? Or could you learn from me? To better understand the world that was. The world I left behind. But not here. Not inside of those who would not understand what you are. Who we are. Have you not done all you can for your people? 
Say your goodbyes, and set forth for distant shores, and new adventures. Fascinating. Eivor grapples with Odin's memories in a way unfamiliar to me. My own struggle with Loki was intense but brief, ending with a... a mutual understanding of who we were. Where will this new conflict take you, I wonder? This calls for a bit of animus magic, I think. Searching for future memories filtered by emotional intensity, grief, longing, sadness. Here we are, a few images from the future. Let's see where Aver leads us. He faces the rising sun. Good. So, the rumors are true. The great conqueror has been conquered himself. <laughs> Eivor! How many summers has it been? <laughs> Far too many, friend. Something amuses you. I hardly recognize you. Is this the Guthrum I left behind, or some other gentleman? <laughs> The Guthrum you knew is indeed no more. Athelstan, I am now called. My Christian name. Christian name? A new name for a new life. At the expense of all you gained. Uh, I have not lost as much as you might think. King Alfred and I have forged a lasting peace, in fact. He has taken Western Mercia. East Anglia is mine. We are now discussing the fates of East Mercia and the North. <laughs> the Danes, Eivor, are here to stay. With Christ as their Jarl. He is a powerful god. Within his sacrifice hides the greatest boons. Forgiveness, hope, love. Would you not consider hearing his message for yourself? I have no time to meet new gods. I'm leaving England, and I've only come here to say my goodbyes. Will you return to your father's land? Elsewhere. To unmapped places, in search of the unknown. Ah, an adventure worthy of Odin. You and he share a love for knowledge and discovery I have noticed. Share is not a strong enough word. <laughs> come then. We must drink and tell stories before you go. If they are to be our last, they must be our best. <laughs> Place, wrong time. Lord King. Ah, Eivor. You are welcome here.
How does it feel to be home? Not as free of care as you might imagine. It has been many years since I reclaimed my throne. But I have never taken it for granted. Not since my time in the marshes. Since then, I have been busy. Guthrum and I are inching towards common ground. A treaty is forthcoming. Is that why you have summoned me? To find common ground? I hope to. You are one of the great lords of Mercia. And calling you a friend would be a benefit to all England. What say you to a treaty, Eivor? Naming you lord of all lands northeast of your settlement. In exchange for what? Your allegiance. Not to me, but to Christ. And to the order I have convened in his name. I honor your offer, Lord. And the trust you place in me. So here is my answer. You gave me this years ago. A beautiful piece. But it sits heavier in my pocket than on my heart. You refuse, then? Have no fear. This is not a new chapter in our conflict. I am leaving these lands for distant shores. You will have no more trouble from me. In search of new wars? Fresh lands to conquer? In search of myself. Ah. The most difficult destination on Earth. I wish you well, then. God be with you on your journey. I'm a bit full up with guards at the moment. Yours may have to take another boat. It's good to see you. <laughs> you look well, brother. Fit and fierce. Eivor! <laughs> you are welcome here. Your brother told me you were coming, but I did not expect you so soon. Stout men huddled around a map with eyes as hungry as their bellies. Little has changed there. Yes. I spent half my life worrying over hastily drawn maps. But this is not a land we mean to conquer. It is a land in need of aid. Iceland? Yes. Our friend Ingolwyr sends word that his new settlement is in peril. Cold winters and simmering blood feud. I have agreed to send supplies and men. Enough to bring peace and ride out the winter. Eivor, it may be your coming here at this time to this place. It's a blessing from Thor himself. I have asked your brother to lead this expedition. And I do not doubt that he would gladly have you accompany him. With you at our side, there's nothing we could not accomplish. Tell us your thoughts. Does your heart fire burn for another great expedition? I'm grateful for the offer. But I have not come here to walk down well-worn roads. I'm here to say farewell. For once and all. For once and all? Are you leaving England as well? I am... ...sailing west. Accompanied only by myself... ...to a land found on no map. For what need? I will discover that only when I arrive. But that is tomorrow. 
Today I would like to spend time in the company of those I love, and tell stories from long ago. <laughs> Beginning when? Long, long ago. You understand? Uncle, clear the room and bring mead and roasted minkfowl for three. <laughs> now, where to begin? Here we are. A final future memory. Will you not wait for morning? I must get to London by the week's end. A crew awaits me there. Not even a goodbye? Everyone knows I'm leaving. But not when. Does Randvi know tonight is the night? Yes. We said our goodbyes. I wish I understood all this, Eivor. You remember my first visions? Before we came to England. Odin and Sigurd. The wolf. The Nordnir. Yes. They prophesied so much that came to pass. They were not prophecies, Valka. They were memories. My own. Or not my own. But lent to me by another. One who lives within me. My second Huga. Do you understand? I... I wish I did. For so long, I considered only two possible futures for me. Surrender to these malicious memories. Or reject them utterly. But now I see a third way. And as I grow older, it draws my interest to learn from them. But I do not know where this path will lead me, nor what it might unleash. This is why, for now, I wish to be alone. I see. Thank you for your trust, Eivor. Embrace me, friend. Farewell, Eivor Wolfkist. May Odin guide your way. Not this time, Balka. This time, I will be guiding him. Asim, is it? William Miles. I asked to meet you in person. Face to face, you said. So here I am. In spirit, so to speak. So close, yet so far. A clever trick. Quite a trick of your own you pulled off. Resurrection, hibernation. Many years in the making, I suppose. There were some improvisations along the way. You've spent so much time in the simulation these past thousand years. Why so eager to jump into another? A simple curiosity. It has been so long since I saw my friend Eivor, 
I wish to know how this grand saga concluded. Now you know. So, what next? Where will Basim go? As far as I can, William. I feared as much. Do not. I cherish the creed that guides us. I always have. But you people are infants compared to those I left behind. I need to get you up to speed. So, let's get started. Wait. If we are to work together, there is something I want first. <laughs> Name it. Viable genetic material obtained. Genetic memory extraction has begun. Estimated sequencing time, 29 days, 3 hours, 4 minutes. You are in for quite a ride, Mr. Miles. all so strange. And what of Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods? Are these stories true? In a sense, the great cataclysm happened, much as your legends say. There were earthquakes and storms, wars and famine. My people died out. Yours thrived. But you say there were no gods as we know them. So what natural force could cause such an upheaval? How to explain? Does the term solar flare mean anything to you? I don't think so. This may take some time to describe. <laughs> Not a problem. Time is all we have left, Osfa. 